Hey everyone, good morning. It's Facebook Live time, I'm just a few minutes late, but I'm here. Um, this is gonna be a very interesting Facebook Live, but before I begin it, I'm gonna wait for everybody to roll on in. I just sent a message if you signed up to receive Facebook Messenger alerts, so we'll get started in a minute. Um, got my coffee in my car as per usual. Hmm, oh, amazing. Comment below so I can say good morning. Um, and um, so I know, hold on, the fly in my car. Go away. Okay. So I know the comments are working, okay? So today we're going to discuss reasons why you should leave Etsy. And you might say, is this clickbait? Is this for real? You're going to see. Um, and so it's not clickbait. <laughs> um, but um, it's important that you just don't read the title and go, yeah, Etsy sucks. That is right. I'm out of here. It's important that you join and listen up um, because this, this type of topic comes up, you know, every so often. It always is around. Um, it comes up every so often um, in the uh, Facebook groups for Etsy people um, wanting to leave for a few different reasons we'll discuss today and we're gonna break down those reasons today and see um, you know are they worth leaving Etsy for and the legitimate reasons why you should be leaving Etsy okay um, so good morning everyone comment below so I know that comments are working say good morning if you are newer to my group don't be shy it's just me I mean I know you don't know me yet that well, but it's just me and I won't bite, okay? So I woke up late this morning. Um, this pregnancy makes me tired and I'm just a few minutes late here. <clears throat> Whew, okay, let me get some coffee in me. And then we'll get started. Just FYI, next week, next Tuesday, yeah, so not today, the coming up Tuesday. I won't be doing Facebook Live. I have um, a baby doctor appointment in the morning and um, I can't miss it. It has to be early in the morning and it's right around the time we do Facebook Live. So I'm just gonna just cancel it for next week. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if the comments are working because I don't see a comment and usually Facebook Live behaves itself, usually, especially when I'm on my phone. Can anybody say, hey, good morning and stop being shy? Why is everybody shy this morning? I know you guys like to work when you're listening to me, which is awesome. I highly encourage that, listening while you're working. But I just like to make sure if I need to see something, it works. I'll just say, hey. I'm trying to, hold on, I just, how do I comment? Oh, hi. Okay, there's my comment. So I'm assuming it works. I need you guys to confirm by typing yourself. <laughs> oh my God, I look tired. Okay. So reasons why you should leave Etsy. I'm going to go over a few and then we're going to discuss the, the many reasons people want to leave Etsy. Um, and see if it's worth it. Okay, I don't think comments are working, guys. Should I restart? I don't know if I should restart. Um, it's okay. Let's just let's just continue. Let's just continue. I'm very surprised the comments aren't working. Usually, um. Oh, somebody just sent me a message saying I'm on your live right now. I can't see the comments, but I have commented good morning. Yeah, who knows with the, with the comments. Okay, let's get started, guys. I won't take a lot of your time. Um, I thought you guys were being ultra shy today. I'm like, what? Okay, so let's start. Reasons why you should leave Etsy. First and foremost, more than likely, you shouldn't. Now, you might say that, that's clickbait. Why you, why you got me in here? No, I'm gonna actually discuss the real reasons why you should be leaving Etsy and in just a moment, but I wanna discuss my main point here. And 
um, you can see if one of those relate to you and then you can make that decision. However, more often than not, I find the people, this people, the sellers that are on Etsy never have a really good enough reason um, to really leave it, okay? And so it's a really great platform for, I don't work for Etsy, by the way. <laughs> I, um, it's a really good platform for people to start on, for people that want to start a business. I got, you guys know, I started my business um, on Etsy. Um, it was started in my, literally in my kitchen table. I looked at my husband and I was like, yo, you know, this is what I was been thinking. Should I do this? And he's like, yeah, go for it, right? And I simply wanted just to replace my income of, um, no, not replace my income. I wanted to, um, well, my first real goal in the beginning was truly a hobby, okay? But my first real goal was only making $600 a month from it and um, just to pay for my second daughter's daycare because she was, just, uh, she was uh, just born when I had the goal. And so, um, so anyway, it, it helped me and look where I am today, you know? And so, and if you don't know where I am today, I'll discuss it in a second, but it helped me, um, kind of get used to business, how to run a business, how to answer customers, my process, all this type of stuff. Okay. So it's a really good starting point for a lot of people. Um, and so in my opinion, there's no really good reason to leave Etsy. And I'm about to actually discuss some reasons why you should be leaving Etsy if you're really uh, passionate about that. Um, however, I still encourage you um, to not do so. Um, and, and only for the sheer reason that it's still an income stream. Now, if you're dealing with so much headache and you're making less than you're selling, meaning, you know, because of whatever's happening on Etsy, you're not making enough money. That's, that's I think, another story, profit margin story. But nonetheless, there's probably some legitimate reasons why I could understand you want to leave. But some people just choose to leave, um, even if they're making money, but they're just sick of Etsy's ways. Now, that's obviously up to you. You can take anything I tell you in this Facebook Live and say, yep, that sounds great, but I'm still not going to do it. I'm still going to leave Etsy. That's fine. But I want to I want to discuss the ways that are actually legitimate. Um, so in, in total, no really good reason to leave Etsy, okay? You make money off of it if you're doing the right things. Hello, Etsy SEO. Um, if you guys are interested in my webinar, my course coming out, um, click um, the link above or sign up wherever the link is. Sign, the, sign up for the wait list. Um, great photos, great product. Okay, that's a Facebook Live for maybe in two weeks from now since I'm not going to do Facebook Live in a week from now. Um, so, so that's that. Now let's discuss the real reasons why you should leave Etsy. Okay, let's see if any of these apply to you. Or consider these if these ever apply to you in the future because these are legitimate. But I, the reason why I started where how I started is because I find that many people I run into, many of you sellers, I love you guys, don't meet these qualifications to, um, to um, logically leave Etsy. And when I say logically, meaning if you want to make money, okay, if you want to make money, you know, stay on Etsy, right? So um, the first reason is if you currently drive a lot of your own traffic. So if you're on Etsy, by the way, many of you are watching this. If you're on Etsy, you probably know, well, first of all, you're either so new that you're trying to figure out your traffic strategy, um, trying to figure out how to get more views, etc., cetera, um, or get even more um, uh, sales. Um, or you've been around the block and you have seen you receive traffic and you're receiving traffic most likely a high number of that traffic high percentage comes from search from Etsy search people search for something they have a need you know my my tumbler I always talk about every week um, they have a need for a silver tumbler travel tumbler and they're and you're hoping that they find yours and they click on yours okay so that's search okay and so now if you drive a huge number of people to your listings, to your Etsy shop, then, and let's just say look at, looking at traffic sources in your stats dashboard, if you look and see that most of it comes from direct traffic, or you legitimately know that you have this huge Instagram following and you direct them every few days for whatever reason, you're posting something, you send them, um, you have an email list. You know, you guys know I have an email list. Um, whatever it is that you use it to drive traffic, if you find that large numbers from you, you probably don't need Etsy because the beauty of Etsy, 
is again for beginners it's a really great way to start even just a hobby even if you have no intention to make it in a business it's a really great way to start and then you know I don't know if how many of us and since the comments or like button doesn't work today so sorry I can't see your comments um, you know I don't know how many of us um, started this for purely as a hobby or with the intention of a business okay but you know it could really make somebody that wanted to make it a hobby into a business me me huge business okay so if you drive your own traffic you don't need the beauty of Etsy Etsy is a marketplace when you sell on Etsy then you have the buyers that go directly to Etsy that shop within Etsy it's a bigger it's a smaller sea of fish if that makes sense you know when you're uh, making your own website you're in this big ocean who's calling me oops um, that might be my delivery. Um, anywho, um, I might need to answer that if they call me back. Um, then I'll come back on. <laughs> that really sucks. So, um, I have deliveries, like, I feel like at least once a week. Anyway, so, if you drive your own traffic, you don't need the beauty of Etsy. Oh, they're calling me back, guys. Crap. Let me come back in a minute. It's my, it's, it's a huge delivery. I'll, I'll come back in a minute, Okay. I'm back. Does it work? Does it work, guys? Uh, can somebody private message me? I was able to put it on pause, apparently. Um, I know the comments don't work, but somebody could private message me. Uh, let me see. Am I back on? I just sent the original person a message. Or do I have to start a new one? Let me know if the, send me, um, if Samara is on, can you send me a private message? Or somebody quickly send me a private message. Let me know if it's working. Oh my God, comments are working. Louise says, hi, I see you. Okay, it works. Sorry guys, I had to answer that call. I have a huge delivery coming. And I just thought if I don't answer, they'll just come and deliver, but they need to tell me I'm, they need to let me know I'm here. Thank you guys. Oh my God. Okay, back to business. So, um, I apologize. I had to answer the call. So that's the first thing okay if you could if you drive a majority of your traffic not that you can drive you know a lot of times you could learn eventually how to drive your own traffic that actually converts okay um but if you currently drive a huge portion of your traffic to your etsy shop okay then you don't need etsy now, I made it clear right now that if you drive a huge portion of your traffic to your Etsy shop, you don't need Etsy. It's a difference than me saying, I currently drive a lot of my own traffic to my website. I get traffic for my email list. That's a lot of my own traffic. Uh, Google SEO, which is not my own traffic. It's people that search on Google, obviously, but you get the point. My repeat customers, etc. The reason why I mentioned that is because I still don't mind having Etsy. It's still an additional stream. I can still catch additional customers from this stream. And then I have my website, okay, where I could drive my own traffic. Oops. Oh my God, guys, I'm a mess. My, cam my camera fell. Okay, where I could drive my own traffic, okay? What's the point of me staying on Etsy, right? if I currently drive all my traffic there. If I'm able to drive my own traffic, I would open my own website. Okay, if that's you, open up your website, drive that traffic there and still continue to continue to get additional Etsy customers. Now, the one of the biggest reasons people wanna leave Etsy because of the fees, okay? And if you currently drive your own traffic, yes, depending on where you sell, you may be paying less fees. Okay, so that may be helpful. May not be so helpful if you don't sell that much, guys, okay? So if you sell a lot, a lot, okay, and you drive your own traffic, then you should leave Etsy. Now let me explain, okay? If you do the math, Etsy takes away X amount of percentage. We're not going to get into it today. Um, and, you know, maybe your website takes a little bit less. Uh, maybe there's a lot of other online marketplaces that take a lot of less. We have to drive your own traffic to it. They're not as advanced as Etsy. I know I put it in quotes, but because Etsy has a little bit more work to do. So... If you're not, if you're not saving that much, let's say on your website because you're driving your own traffic there, then what's the point of leaving? Um, and when I say saving that much, meaning if you make five thousand a year on Etsy revenue, I'm not saying that's a bad number. That's a great number, by the way, right? Everybody's different. 
good morning. Is it really worth it to say, Etsy, I'm quitting you. I'm quitting you and all the traffic that you give me. I'm going to open my own website so I could save some money. I'm not sure how much, right? Because the websites do cost in some way or another. Whether it's in your own, you know, whether it's on WordPress, you're paying for hosting, whether it's something, okay? Whether it's with the headaches you're paying with it, right? And so you have to understand that if you go to your own website, you're still paying. And maybe not as much as you were on Etsy, but was it worth the headache of moving? So another reason for you to leave, just to wrap that up, is if you are selling a lot and driving your own traffic. Don't just tell me I'm selling so much and Etsy's taking 15% plus that that man, that 12% advertising fee. Which we'll get into advertising in a second. And so I can be saving tons of money. Well, you wouldn't be making that money if you weren't on Etsy. Okay, good morning. Um, hold on, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Now, again, I'll talk about the reason people like to talk about why they want to leave Etsy and how they're invalid in just a moment. All right. But the reasons I just discussed are the largest reasons. Okay. Um, and to piggyback on that, guys, if you are a whiz kid at marketing, okay, and I'm not saying none of you are, I'm not saying that. But the reason why I'm discussing these is I find that, you know, majority of my members, we're, we have a lot in common, obviously. But when I say a whiz kid at marketing, that means I can make whatever product, create Facebook ads for it, right? I mean, I know a lot of us don't know Facebook ads. Uh, I don't, you know. Uh, I know a little bit of it, but not much. Um, not much for me to comfortably run it. But um, maybe soon. But if you're able to drive your own traffic, even in paid ways, we currently utilize, and even Amazon, we currently utilize Etsy and Amazon um, ad, uh, their ad dashboards to um, run ads, great, but within within that home, within Etsy.com, within Amazon.com, that's great. I'm not hating on that, I love ads, you guys know that. But when you know how to run your own ads, you guys have probably seen it when you're scrolling on Facebook, you see those ads, for I don't know what, depending on who you are, right, targets you. Um, if you're a whiz at doing that, well, first of all, don't drive it to Etsy, drive it to your own.com, obviously. Um, but, because you're paying, now you're paying, or you've been paying if you pay on ads on Etsy, but you're paying good money um, for these, you know, potentially new customers to find you out, and you're sending them to a location where they may buy from you, or they may not. They may not, they may see a competitor's listing and buy from them. And on top of that, this is getting a little bit too intense, but I have to still mention it for you guys, you know, if you think about this in the future. You know, some people, when you send Facebook um, ads or Google ads or whatever um, to your website, you're able to put a cookie in there and then retarget them later. Okay, if you're like, what the hell is that? Don't worry about it. That's for future. But nonetheless, but because you, you're, you're really getting the most out of your money that you spent on ads, okay? So if you know how to run these outside ads, don't run them to Etsy. You shouldn't be sending them to Etsy. Doesn't mean you should leave Etsy. Okay, you can still have Etsy, but have your own website. You can see the common denominator here. A lot of times I could give you these reasons and it's not really meant to leave Etsy. Now, um, let's discuss the many reasons, the popular reasons I see people posting about why they want to leave Etsy, shall we? Because I think while I did mention a few reasons why you should, I think I don't know if the like button is working. Hit the like button if you could agree that those don't really relate to you as much. And so I drive a lot of my traffic, um, but I drive it to my .com. I still have great traffic on Etsy, so that still doesn't relate to me, right? Um, and so it can be very hard for that to relate to you, for, for you to really deem Etsy for you worthless. And again, you can still make the personal decision if Etsy is, is, is um, mentally, you know, your health driving you crazy, then absolutely leave it. Nothing's worth it, right? Um, but let's talk about the reasons I see everywhere. One of the most popular reasons, guys, is Etsy fees. Okay, we'll talk about regular fees as well as advertising fees, okay? So I saw a recent post. Um, I hope this person's on this call. It's okay if they're not. But it's a, it's a lot of things that we've always thought about before one time is, oh, Etsy's charging me, what is it nowadays, 15%, right? Um, it's um, the selling fee, the transaction fee, whatever, okay? And they're like, that's pretty high. Now, first of all, no, it's not. It's not high um, compared to other online marketplaces. There are other online marketplaces that are cheaper, but you pay for what you get, meaning more than, more than, more often than not, 
actually if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken all the time so a platform is cheaper in fees it's because they don't have the traffic to support those sellers and actually to make decent amount of money let me explain um, let's call another online marketplace abc.com okay and you're like I heard abc.com only has 2% transaction fees and no monthly no monthly reoccurring fees or whatever you're saying okay um, more than like abc.com will not have a lot of buyers go to it in order to search for your product there's a reason why Etsy could charge the amount it does okay I still don't think it's very high um, but if you are out there complaining because you're not making enough money that's not an Etsy problem that's not a fee problem that's a profit margin problem on your end okay so when it comes to fees just know you you get what you pay for I can make a sale potentially on this other online marketplace again example abc.com but I could make and then and, and only get a fee of let's say 2% or 5% but I or I could sell on Etsy way more and pay a higher fee which one would you like if you are if you are thinking or going to comment you'd rather the cheaper fee and have less sales that's fine but if your goal is to make more money which I assume most of our goals are we're here we're running businesses here there's no nothing to be shy about we're here to make money then I would assume you'd pick the Etsy route okay so that's the biggest thing the next biggest thing I see people talking about is advertising cost. Where's this guy going to deliver my package if I'm in the driveway? Well, when he comes, I'll tell him to ring the bell and get my husband out. Anyway, so um, advertising cost. Advertising, um, I think Etsy, I don't know the date, it doesn't really matter. Etsy made it mandatory at one point. They're going to do off-site ads. And if you sell over 10,000 a year or 20,000, I think it's 10,000, you get a, you get, um, you can't opt out of it. And so they'll take 12%, uh, 12% of your sale that they got for you for off-site ads. And, and I'll break down why the biggest two problems with that are, and I'll discuss it. Um, and then if you are under $10,000 seller, you could easily opt out, but you're still probably upset because you're like, they're charging me 15% um, for these offsite ads and I don't need their help, blah, blah, blah. Okay, calm down. So what is, let's break this down. If you are upset about that because you're thinking, I don't need to drive my traffic. I already make sales on Etsy. Let's focus here. You wouldn't have made that sale they put out your ad on an off-site place okay Google whatever and got you that sale you would have made that sale okay yes it took a percentage of it but you wouldn't have made it otherwise so if again if your goal is to make more money it doesn't it doesn't logically make sense for you to hate that they're doing off-site ads for you Yes, I think the biggest problem for me is that they're forcing us to. I don't like to be forced to do anything. I mean, that's like, I get to make decisions in my own life. But getting over that, it makes sense. Now, I understand for those of you who say, well, no, that's not my problem, Dahlia. My problem is they're taking 12% or 15%, but after I do all the cost analysis and my cost of goods sold, you know, I'm selling this product and they take away X amount of money and they, and they take away this for their Etsy fees and they take away this for the blah, blah, blah fees and they take away this for blah, blah, blah. I think I'm in the negative or I'm working for pennies or I haven't even paid myself and I'm, I only have a dollar left over or whatever it is that your profits are that you really piss you off. The issue is in Etsy. The issue is off. The, the issue is profit margins. Your profit margins suck. No, but Dahlia, I sell this as a good price. It's, it's compared to my competitors they're selling all for $30 per size as compared to my competitors. It makes sense. Well, first of all, you can't compare to your competitors. Maybe they also suck in profit margin. But number two, they also don't know how they're getting the supplies, what their overhead is. And I've seen this many times, many times. I see that they break it down. I posted my Instagram stories once and it, and their, their expenses are ludicrous. And so I'm like, and it, it, it's true. People that are new to selling online, love you guys. Uh, sometimes it's not as clear, and I understand that. That's why I do these Facebook lives. Um, but it shouldn't be that high. 
you spending money on off-site ads shouldn't break your bank, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, so that's that. Now, and again, profit margin discussion happens, has, has to happen in a different, you know, different time. So that is my feedback when it comes to those fees. We'll talk about something else that people complain about in just a second. Hey, Jessica, more product out there, the more there are more people see your product, more potential buyers. I wasn't sure if you were referencing something I said earlier. Sorry, I didn't read it earlier. But those are the two biggest reasons I feel, I feel like people want to leave Etsy. Um, another reason why people want to leave Etsy, um, I did not leave Etsy, Amy. Um, obviously, Amy said she's just joining. Um, it's legitimate reasons why people could, you know, should leave Etsy. And then I'm right now, discuss and I already went over that. I'm already, now I'm discussing reasons uh, people want to leave Etsy and if they're, if they're logical or not. Um, I have not left Etsy. Um, so let me take another sip. Another popular reason people want to leave Etsy is because they're sick of their shenanigans and how they are the rulers of the Etsy land. Okay. So we know all the Etsy reps, all the Etsy bosses, whatever you want to call them that make those final decisions that piss us off. You guys know what they are. Um, whether it's, whether it's a late package and it happened to be your fault, you're like, I didn't, I wasn't the one that manually delivered it. What the hell? Um, you know, so why is Etsy blaming me? Why did Etsy make me refund the customer? Whatever it is that Etsy puts rules around that affect you. Um, not every single day, but during certain situations, during high pressure situations, those high pressure situations are usually have to deal with customers. Okay. A lot of people want to leave Etsy because they think it's unfair. Okay. And sometimes based on what I've read, do we all know, do we all know the whole story? Not always. I learned that. I learned that last year. There's always two sides to the story. I know we always known that, but really, really known that. Anyway, but nonetheless, sometimes I'm sure they are unfair. And is it worth it? Is is it worth it to say, okay, I'm done with you, Etsy. You messed me up with this one customer. This one customer. I'm done. Why would you want to give? And again, this is not personal, guys. This is not personal. This is business. Why would I want to leave thousands of dollars on the table for for this one or two mess ups that Etsy has done, right? And I'm not, this is not applying to everybody, by the way. If, if I, if you want me to speak for myself, I don't think I've ever had to deal with Etsy customer service in my life. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had to deal with that. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm perfect. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I find that many sellers don't have to deal with shenanigans too often. And when I say that, it might feel like you deal with it often because when it does happen, it feels like the whole world has is out of pause for you. I get it. I, that's how it feels. Um, but I've learned, and mostly with other scenario, with other reasons, I learned not Etsy particularly. Um, I learned how to not accept it personally and just make a decision and move forward and not let it affect, first of all, my entire day, which becomes now unproductive and I've, I'm losing money by doing that. Um, and moving on and not leaving Etsy, which again, just because one thing or two things or even three things piss me off, I'm not going to leave thousands of dollars on the table. That doesn't make sense. I understand. And I personally, personally agree that mental health is really, really important. But instead of saying my mental health is important, I'm leaving Etsy because it pisses me off. Instead, you should be working on my health. Mental health is important. Let me work on focusing on not letting this affect me as much. It shouldn't. People don't know you personally. If my sister attacks me today and calls me all these names, she's attacking me personally. She knows me personally. She apparently doesn't like who I am, right? <laughs> when a customer attacks you because they, you cl they claim that you didn't put it right in the description or God knows what, you, you, and of course it affects you, it's your business, but you, you start to get affected. You're like, I can't believe she didn't read. And how, what she expected me to do, hand deliver it, like all this stuff. You, you're, you're, you're a person taking it personally. And, and we are, I'm not asking you not to be human, but you have to separate yourself. You have to separate yourself in order to continue not being pissed. That's number one. And, and continue selling on the Etsy platform. Again, it's money. Again, if you're watching this, your goal, your, your, you join me in the goal of, yes, I want to, I want to make more money. Okay. That's simply what it is. If your goal is something else and this is this Facebook live is not right for you, but, um, 
So I would not let it affect me. And so what I tend to do is I might vent for a second. I'm still human, right? We make a joke. And then me and my assistant, we go, we kind of, you know, reel it back in and say, all right, what can we learn from this? What is the real issue here? <coughs> I'm not talking about the customers that are lying and not, I don't, I don't always presume when somebody's lying. I don't. But I do try to figure out how we can make a better experience. Because even if they're lying, why do they have to lie? What happened? What went wrong? You know, what went wrong? And we often re take this feedback. We take it as an opportunity to fix things. Okay? I'm not going to start lecturing you on that. But nonetheless, not a good enough reason to leave Etsy when people piss me off on it. And again, I rarely get some customers like that. But I deal with it. I move on. I know not everyone makes a lot of money on Etsy to ignore a sale of $40 and I have to now refund or a sale of $10 I have to refund or a sale of $100 depending on what you sell. I understand that and I know I'm coming from a place, particularly because I'm biased, I make quite a bit. So if I had to refund an amount, it's not going to break my bank, especially if it doesn't happen too often. I understand that. But when you're running a business, there will be... I'm trying to find the words to say there there will be times okay no let me say it like this when you're running a business what, the one thing we did not consider when we first started is the cost of doing business yes and for me while it includes many things one of the things it includes guys is the shenanigans we run into the shenanigans you know, you have advertising costs. We have a shenanigans cost and the shenanigans cost varies per seller. And what that means is when you have to refund, when you lose money on something or when you're losing money on something, maybe you didn't lose completely on the entire sale, but when you lose with something. So what the, the, the biggest issue is you didn't know that. And so it hits you off guard. And a lot of times you don't, you don't, you still don't know it. And you're like, what? No, I could, I, I deserve that money. You know, that's the cost of doing business sometimes. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. I keep drinking this.